Welcome to our lecture online and now we're on to the next method for factoring called factoring by completing the square. Now I know what you're going to say, you say well wait a minute don't we use that to solve quadratic equations to find solutions the roots of quadratic equations and you're absolutely correct we do use that for that method so that means that the general format of the equation we're trying to factor x squared plus bx plus c we can think of it as solving the equivalent quadratic equation we're using the very same technique except we're not solving for roots we simply want to factor that and what is the general technique well it looks as follows the first thing we're going to do is move the plus c over here and so we can then have some more room x squared plus bx plus c to open up some space here what are we going to write in that open space we're going to take half the coefficient of the middle term and square it and add it so this becomes plus the quantity b over 2 quantity squared of course when we add it we also must subtract it otherwise we've changed the trinomial that means we then also have must write it as minus b over 2 quantity squared notice that cancels out we end up with the exact same initial trinomial but we need that format in order to use this technique the next thing to do is to realize that this is now a perfect square and can be factored as such so this can be written as a quantity x squared plus oh no not x squared that's not what we want to write because we're actually factoring it so this can be written as a quantity x plus b over 2 quantity squared when we multiply this out we get this trinomial again and this to make it simple we're going to write this as minus d squared because notice that these are just simply constants and we can take this whole thing and simply rewrite this as a minus d squared then we realize we have the difference of squares which can, which can be factored using that technique so this is written as x plus b over 2 plus d multiplied times x plus b over 2 minus d and that would be the final factored form now if this were actually numbers we would then take the b over 2 plus d and the b over 2 minus d and then simplify that into a single number and that would then be the factored form of our original problem so that's the technique we're going to use called completion the square technique to actually factor instead of solving for the equivalent quadratic equation now you may say well that seems like a difficult and long method to solve a simple problem and of course the answer is you're correct but at least we want to learn all the different kinds of techniques just so that we know how to do that and we can apply them when necessary and that is how it's done